Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video. I've got my mini ears on today, which only means one thing. It is another Disney planning video. In this video, I thought I would go through what is going to be in my park bags and stroller organisation. I do see these videos flying about on YouTube a lot and I find them quite helpful. I've learned a lot of tips from these kind of videos so I thought I would make one for myself. Bearing in mind we are a family of six and one of our children does have complex medical conditions so that does have quite a big play in the kind of things that we are taking with us into the parks. However a lot of these things are just general things that are handy if you are traveling or going to the parks with small children. So throughout this video, please just excuse the lovely backdrop. We are in my kitchen because this is where the stroller lives and kitchen's just not really the prettiest of places, is it really? So if you would like to see what is gonna be in my park bags and how I am organizing the stroller, then please keep watching. So we'll start with the stroller and please excuse the state of it, guys. It has definitely seen better days. It needs a good clean, but other than that, it is in pretty good shape. So this is the iSafe Baby Sale and I absolutely love this stroller mainly for the sun coverage. Now even without the blazing sunshine of Orlando, my daughter Avery does not enjoy the sun in her eyes. So sun coverage on a stroller was really important for us. Avery does have cerebral palsy among other conditions. So I'm not gonna lie, the posture support in this stroller isn't great for her, but it does work. But normally this would be a pretty perfect stroller to be fair. So in terms of sun coverage, it has this really good sun canopy. And then also it has an extra pocket here that you can unzip. And in here, you can actually pop a tablet or a phone and this bit is clear. So they can actually watch um, their favorite show inside the stroller. It also has extra little compartments inside here and these are actually extra sunshades that you can pull right down and it will just provide Avery with pretty much complete sun coverage. That will even come in handy if we feel like she is getting a little bit overwhelmed. We can kind of close her in here, pop a tablet or a phone inside the push chair and then she's got her own little world in here. At the moment I've got the footrest up because it's more comfortable for Avery but this does also go down as well and it is nice and compact when it's folded. It is fairly easy to fold so this is what we're going to be traveling with and also taking into the parks with us. It does also fully recline which of course is a must. Now the bumper bar. I'm not completely sold yet but I'm thinking I may actually just remove it before our trip purely because it's going to be much much easier to get Avery in and out of this stroller and I imagine there will be a lot of that on our trip because she's not always the happiest in a stroller so she will need kind of a lot of picking up and cuddling um, so the bumper bar may just stay at home now if you have a child that isn't dystonic and doesn't make um, very stiff movements all the time the bumper bar shouldn't be an issue but for Avery honestly it can be a little bit of a nuisance so let's talk about how I'm actually going to be setting this stroller up to make it nice and convenient for the parks. To start with, I actually purchased one of these. Now this is just a standard nappy caddy. I bought mine on Amazon, there's tons on there, but I will leave this one linked down below. And the reason I thought this would probably be easier than the alternative of just throwing everything in the shopping trolley of the push chair is because when we went to Disneyland Paris, we actually found it quite difficult when we had to offload everything in the push chair for security before we could go into the parks. And I just thought if everything is nice and neat and tidy in this, all we've got to do is pick this up because it does have handles and we're good to go basically. So I did measure it out and this actually fits perfectly into the shopping trolley of the stroller. And then that leaves just enough room for her rain cover to be tucked in by the side of it because Naturally, in Orlando, a rain cover is a must because you never know when it is going to rain. But this just makes everything so much simpler. And because it's got pockets, it's easy to organize everything that is in there. The next thing that's going to be going onto this stroller is a stroller fan. Once again, absolutely essential with little ones, but especially with Avery because of the nature of her medical conditions. Um, she can get seizures if she has fevers. So it is really, really important for us to keep her nice and cool. So 
that just slots onto there nicely it is nice and secure and that will keep her nice and cool you may have already noticed these two little things here on the stroller so these are literally just carabiner clips and i have seen almost every single disney mom talk about these things they are really handy to have whether you have bags or you want to hold water bottles, just so many different things. We have two and we will be keeping two on here because one is gonna be holding our park bag and I will talk more about that in just a minute. The next thing that is gonna be hung onto the stroller is this little pouch. Now I found this in a set of two on Shein and I really, really like them. And then I found a um, travel, changing mat i suppose it rolls up really nice and small and in here i just have nappies wipes and pseudocreme i think i've got about five nappies in there i could probably sneak in one more if i felt like i needed to but this has a little button on the side so i don't need to use up any of my carabiner clips and this just pops onto the side of the stroller and that is just super easy access for when avery needs a nappy change and it's nice and lightweight it doesn't weigh the push chair down too much and it's just super super convenient i definitely recommend getting some kind of um nappy pouch or changing pouch that you can just grab and go to the nearest toilet to change your little one if needs be so let's talk about the things we're actually taking into the park so the things that are going to be filling the bag and the nappy caddy etc so obviously i've already talked about the rain cover that will just always be in the push chair at all times so the caddy now this may swap and change depending on how we like it best we may take a little bit of practice before we get it exactly how we like it but to start with in the first little compartment here i actually have a cooler bag um, now most people pack food and snacks in their cooler bags ours is actually for all of avery's medicines she has a lot of them and all of them need to stay below 25 degrees that is celsius and i think the temperatures we're looking at in orlando are high 20s into the low 30s so I thought if I load this with some ice, ice packs, put all of her medicines in here and also her feed bottles, they should stay nice and cool. And if we still find that it's not staying cool, then we can always take them into the first aid centers. I also have an extra cooler bag here that folds down flat, which is tucked in next to it just in case we need any more space. I don't have anything in this little zipper pocket just yet, but I imagine what I will put in here is Avery's medical documents. So just med medical proof, basically, that the medications are for her and she does need them in the next pocket this one actually still has some room to put stuff in but the boys autograph books are just in here i thought if they're in the bottom of the push chair and it's open access the boys can easily grab them whenever they want to get an autograph and then next to it in this pocket again these might not stay in here i may actually hang these on the push chair itself but these are all of our rain macs avery and josh do not have a rain mac avery because she obviously has the rain cover and josh said he will manage without one so i have one each for the boys and then mine down there which i bought from primark ages ago like years ago but they all all kind of like parker in a pocket type situations they fold down really flat and they fit perfectly in there so that apart from some hand sanitizer which i have down in the side here is everything that is in here at the moment now again this may change i might jig things around put some stuff that's in here in my bag and put some stuff that's in the bag in here depending on what we find we are reaching for the most in terms of the actual park bags and i have pretty much just loaded everything we'll be using in the parks in here because i plan to pack them together as well to make it easier when we get there um, we'll start with the bag that's going to be on me at all times this one i bought from primark and i absolutely love it it's the 100 year anniversary edition and it's got mickey on it it's so sweet all i'm going to be keeping in here is my wallet my phone will be here as well and some chewing gum that's everything i've got in this at the moment and to be honest i don't think there is much more that i will need to keep on my person at all times so that is pretty much all that's going to be in here and then in the actual part bag this part bag i bought from trago mills i think maybe a year ago and this is the one we actually took to disneyland paris with us it's technically avery's backpack um, it's got Minnie Mouse all over it. I really like it. It also has the two little bottle pockets at the sides, which are really handy for Avery's sterile water. I've also just put a few Disney pins on the front just to jazz it up a little bit. But I've just rammed everything in here, like I said. So not all of this will be in the bag. 
Um, but to start with, in the front pocket here, I have just got a squeezy squash. So this is just for um, the boys when they get water, they can have a little bit of squash in their water just to make it taste nicer because apart from Zach who pretty much exclusively drinks water, um, the other two don't enjoy water as much and I feel like that is going to help keep them hydrated so that is a good tip. I know in America they do kind of sachets like powder sachets that do the same thing. We will probably pick some of those up as well because with the heat it is really important that they stay hydrated. So I'm just going to go through everything in the bag and I'll kind of tell you where it's going to live. So let's start with our lanyards now of course they won't be in the bag they will be around our necks so we have five of them and mine actually has two card holders on it because i will be holding avery's card as well now avery doesn't have a card ticket yet um but she will get das pass so i imagine she will have a card when we're there so those will be around our necks that is not something i need to worry about carrying in the bag the boys each have a pluto pen now they have all got bum bags um i think you call them fanny packs in america um so they will be wearing those and they can keep their pens and their maybe their wallets maybe not i'm not sure if i trust them to carry around all their money um, but they'll keep their pens in there and I don't actually have those to show you at the moment but essentially they're just little bum bags. I have two cooling towels. Now these are a new purchase. I was just going to take a flannel for Avery because again it is important that we keep her cool but apparently these have a magic way of staying cool so I thought it was... A good idea to pick some up these ones are from amazon and they were inexpensive they also come with a little pouch that again has a carabiner clip on it and these come in handy for so many things but if we find we are running out of space in the rucksack we can again also clip these to the push chair which is really really handy but the bag is not full but then again we do not have avery's feed syringes meds anything like that in here yet so i imagine they will bulk up pretty quickly when we start to add these things in speaking of syringes now obviously these will look a little bit different in the parks because they will have things in them but i have a bag here for clean syringes i did use my label maker to label these ott i know but at least then i know if my husband goes into the bag to find syringes he knows which are clean and which are dirty so i've got a clear bag for clean syringes and then this old shein bag for dirty syringes the next thing that will be in our bags will be sunglasses now again the boys can keep their own sunglasses in their little bum bags but i have mine josh's and avery's here as well so they will probably stay in this bag or will be wearing them one or the other so the next thing we have and again this is another um last minute find are these collapsible water bottles as you can see they fold down really really small i found them on amazon and they do also come with the clip so once again we can also clip these to the push chair which once they have been filled up once is probably what i will do just to avoid anything in the bag getting wet but i just thought these would be super handy especially for the boys i'm going to be really conscious at trying to keep them hydrated and i feel like this will be a bit more fun for them to drink out of next thing i have is the second pouch that goes along with this one that i got from shein and this has a spare set of clothes for avery um, not only that it also has a spare bib and a little muslin cloth in here um, accidents happen you never know not only that if she is getting really really warm and we want to get her in the splash zone for a little bit we know she's got a spare set of clothes to change into and we will just restock that as and when we need to and then the last thing that i've actually got in here is just this little clear pouch here as you can see i do like to sub categorize things um, i like to put things in smaller pouches just because it's easier to find so all i have in here is some factor 50 sun cream for the children some factor 30 sun cream for josh and i um, a can of um, deodorant just a little travel sized one because i hear you can get quite hot and sweaty and then i just have some antibacterial surface wipes which i thought would be handy when we're kind of eating at quick service or whatnot or we need to clear a space to prepare avery's feed or meds and then some tissues um, i can get hay fever quite badly especially in the hot weather so i'm gonna need something to blow my nose um that is pretty much everything that is in here at the moment like i said there will be syringes there will be meds there will be feed all those things will obviously get added 
last minute we are still waiting on her smaller feed bottles to come chrissy from the future just checking in here i realized that there are two things that i completely forgot to mention in this video and i know for a fact i would probably get at least one comment about both of these things because i see them on nearly every single what is in my park bag video the first one is a portable charger and corresponding leads i will be using my phone for pretty much everything so this is a must didn't forget about it, kind of did though, but it will definitely be in my part bag. And the other thing is just a few little sandwich bags. These are super handy for tons of different things. Keeping your phone dry on a water ride, putting snacks that aren't finished in, and I imagine there will be a lot of those since my boys tend to have eyes bigger than their belly a lot of the time and it would be nicer just to be able to keep things and take them back to our resort than waste them by putting them in the bin and I don't really like putting things in my bag that are sticky they can get everything else sticky so these hopefully will really come in handy um but yeah didn't want to just not mention these things in my video because I feel like they're both very important but back to the video but that is essentially it and I feel pretty happy knowing that we're going to have everything we need and everything is still going to be quite organized when we went to Paris I felt a little bit overwhelmed just because everything was everywhere it wasn't organized the only other thing that I've not mentioned that will be attached to the push chair itself will be Avery's mobile feeding bag now this will have her feeding pump in it and also her giving sets and whatnot and this is essentially what we use to keep her pumping and then the leads come out and feeds directly from the backpack so that will just fit onto there and then the lead that actually feeds her will just go into the push chair um, when it comes to jumpers sweatshirts things like that i feel like that will be the kind of thing we just keep in the car and if we know that we're going to be there a bit later in the evening then we may just take them with us and wrap them around our waists or something but yeah i feel pretty good everything's going to be organized we're going to have everything we need and it doesn't seem too chaotic. I have seen some people get some like little plaques that go onto the back of the pushchair, but number one, I just feel like that's adding more onto the pushchair that just gets in your way. And number two, I feel like this pushchair is pretty recognizable. Um, not only that, I imagine we probably will try and get a wheelchair tag. So hopefully we do not have to leave it um, around anywhere, especially with the amount of medications we're gonna be carrying around for Avery. We wouldn't really want to leave it unattended. So that is pretty much everything. I hope you enjoyed it if you did then please hit the subscribe button i think there are still a few more um disney planning videos to come by the time you see this one we are probably already there having the time of our lives hopefully excuse that that was my phone but there is still more disney content to come because i made sure i pre-filmed a ton just so there was stuff that was going up while i was away so definitely subscribe if you'd like to see that and if you would like to follow us along on our journey and with that said i will see you guys in a few days with another video. Bye guys.